Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your tarot reading, Pisces, and this is going to be for any time that you see it or any time in the future, right? We can't always do timing, but I hope you guys are well. And please don't live or die by these because uh, these are not personal readings, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have. Hope you guys are all well. I didn't say that. The bottom of the deck, Pisces, is going to be the Page of Wands. So you're on some type of a new path. It could be a renewal or a renewed interest in somebody. It could be uh, it could be a change in direction, and that's really what a new path is, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what else we have. We have the Devil, and we have the Empress, and the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. I'm just going to take these because uh, they could be kind of all like meant to be together. Uh, you might be on a new path here because you're ending something with somebody. You could maybe be returning to somebody from your past, or you're on a new path here because somebody else has done this. But, you know, the, the, the worst part of this is over, the Ten of Swords, because it's like, it is, the worst part of it is over. You might be, unless you are, like, fearing that this is going to happen, like, any time, maybe with the devil there, right? There could be a third-party empress right away. We see, like, the, the uh, because of this Ten of Swords, right, and a new path. We see uh, the Empress, and she's the number three in the Major Arcana. Yeah, see, so you're going through change. You have the Eight of Wands. This is you, the Queen of Cups, most likely. And in your in the root here is the Ten of Cups. You could be married to somebody with children, possibly. We have justice. This can talk about a marriage contract. In your environment, it could be a Sagittarian. There could be a Libra, a Gemini here, or an Aries. Maybe another water sign. You have the justice card here. You are, uh, you're, you're, I feel like you're probably making a decision to walk away from somebody here. This justice card, you might want justice from somebody because it looks like something's pretty harsh here. Or was. You could be like kind of seeing the truth in a situation where there is change or that you need change in your life. <coughs> you might be seeing somebody here that, feeling somebody here has like, uh, somebody else is imposing change on you, maybe. This card can usually talk about, for one per for somebody it can talk about favorable change. Uh, with this Ten of Swords it might not be favorable change. <clears throat> Let's see here. And you have the Nine of Wands reversed. So this is uh, the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody who's protecting themselves. You might not be protecting something here anymore because you've already been through, like, some battles here with this person. There's somebody else here for sure. The Ten of Wands. So you're carrying a major burden here, either about somebody you think is your happily ever after or you maybe have a family with this person. Somebody might be protecting something else, and this is why you might be going, you might feel like you need, you need change, you need to move on. And we have the Queen of Cups and the Fool card. This is in the past. Somebody like here, you, possibly, this could be you having the courage to like go after something here. This reading could be about you going after somebody because I don't really see pain here yet. I see a burden. You could be going after somebody that you think is your happily ever after. You are carrying a burden and you have the Two of Swords. So this reading could go either way. But somebody here in the past has had the courage to like step out on a limb and take a chance. The King of Swords, they, or they just made the decision in the past possibly to do it. What's on your mind is the Two of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. I feel like you, this could be like, I don't feel like this is about your decision. 
if it is, it's about like either way, uh, the reading that you could be like, if you're whatever side of the reading you're on, going for returning to somebody from the past, I believe, the Six of Cups, or your person is, you feel like you have no other recourse, either to go along with it and like let this person go, or you're going after somebody that you feel like you're drawn to them, like you have to go back to this person. You could feel like, for some of you guys, you might feel like, uh, depending, you know, where you're at, like what side, what energy you are in this reading, you might feel like, uh, there's nothing I can do about my future, or I'm unsure about my future. You could feel like somebody's turning your back on you, turning their back on you, or you're doing that. We have the Emperor and the Judgment card. This is in the near, be in the near future. It could be now. I feel like this is all happening right now. Somebody's making a decision to take action, like deliberate action. It's possible they didn't have the courage in the past. Somebody could be going through a rebirth with somebody else. Let's see what else we have, you guys. We have the Gemini card, or that's what I call it, and the Hermit here. Your person might be, you know, a Virgo. They could be anybody here. It could be Scorpio. But here's Gemini. This is in your concern. I feel like that a Virgo or somebody's making a choice, or this is your choice. Somebody's making, like, a choice here to return to somebody, I believe, from their past. Or it could just be, you know, not everybody's returning to their past, of course, but... Uh, but somebody's having like the clear con like the clear courage here to take a risk or step out on a limb for something that they really want. And let's see here. In your concern is the seven of swords. You could be concerned this person is kind of escaping to do that. Right? Or that, or that there's, there's deception here, of course. Because you might be, like, in this union with this person right now, and I feel like you are understanding the truth here, justice as the first card. And so, let's see what else we have. In your environment is temperance and the ten of pentacles reversed. So, your person could be Sagittarius, Right? Or there could be somebody maybe from the past here who is a Sag. This could be healing too. Healing a situation and there's an ending as well. Because the Ten of Pentacles reversed is typically a breakup or a family situation is not going well. This is in your environment. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. These are all completions or endings. When we say completion, sometimes it means an ending, but it can also mean, it can also mean like, uh, like something's supposed to complete itself sometimes, right? It could be, it could mean that, right? You might be meant for somebody else here, if, if depending on what side of the reading that you're on. You have the eight of, uh, but I feel like you might be concerned about your person for some of you guys. You could be concerned about this choice, maybe that uh, if you're making it, if somebody knows that you're making this choice. You might be using your intuition about somebody here, all about this ending. You have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is your desire with, uh, with the Hanged Man. This could be you. This is your hope. Let's see. It could be. It doesn't always have to be. The Ace of Wands. This could be you where you feel you either hoping for this passionate new beginning with somebody or you feel really stuck here about your person because the hangman is like a stuck energy. And so this could be you like in that energy. I feel really stuck or I feel sacrificed in the situation. 
Somebody's sacrificing something, somebody here. Like, no doubt. So here we have the Two of Wands in your outcome. Let's see what it says. The Queen of Wands. And this could be this Sagittarius. It could be uh, Aries the Emperor. It could be anybody, but it could. this is a fire sign here. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like what you're doing here is... So if this is your person, like, moving on to be with somebody else, and they're sneaking around here, and you're just, like, intuitively knowing it, you could be right here, like, are they kind of, are they really leaving here because of that person? Like, are they making this choice? Because in your concern is the Seven of Swords. Either that, or you're choosing this other person to move on, like you're moving on to kind of be with your wish here. And you could be kind of uh, kind of going back and forth about maybe, like, is this a good choice? Possibly. But I feel like you are, like, I just feel like you're at a crossroads here and a turning point in your life because of an ending, uh, most likely because your person wants to move to, to somebody from their past, or you uh, want to reconcile with somebody, and, you, and leaving the situation could be really, really difficult for you. Yeah. But there's something here that's faded. Even if you're kind of feeling the brunt, you probably don't want to hear that. But even if you're on the, kind of like the, the lower side of the reading, or not lower, but kind of the disadvantaged side of the reading, I feel like something's um, super like, I feel like this is faded. Yeah. Which sounds kind of strange, right? We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.